You guys, don't you think I'm a little old for the Teen Choice Awards? I mean, I turned 18 today. Oh, come on, Meg. You always used to love the Teen Choice Awards. Yeah. Hey, what's with all the cars on the street? Oh, they're all here for your surprise party, Meg. Peter, for God's sake, you idiot! We were supposed to open the door so everyone could yell surprise! 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 Oh. Oh, dear. Chris, what the hell? I thought you were gonna pay the kids from school to show up. I gave you $300. Why do you think Dad's here? Hey, Meg, happy birthday. You're the coolest. I'm really sorry about this, honey. It looks like nobody's coming. Hey, Quagmire, what's going on? Well, Peter, a little birdie told me that today is Meg's birthday. This is a special day for you, young lady. Here's a gift for you. A scented candle? Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. Well, it's your 18th birthday, Meg. That's a very important milestone in a young girl's, I mean, a young woman's life. <laughs> hey, welcome to the adult club, huh? And you know what? You got another member right next door if you ever want to talk and stuff. Happy birthday. <laughs> Look at Quagmire hitting on that skank. You know he's gonna close the deal. Peter, that skank is your daughter. Oh my god, you're right! Well, gosh, Quagmire, this has been a fun night, but I guess, uh, you better be getting home now, huh? Yeah, it is getting late. Guess I'll go home and rub out a giggity. Take it easy, you guys. See you later, Meg. Bye. Oh, hey, Mr. G. How's it going? Quagmire, what are you doing here? Hi, Glenn. Bye, you guys. Me and Glenn are going out. Okay, you two have fun on your date. What? Drive carefully. We'll see you later. Whoa, is you out of your mind? We can't let Quagmire take Meg out on a date. That guy will bang anything. Peter, nothing's gonna happen. Don't you see? She's only doing this to get a rise out of us. If we fight her on it, she'll only push further. Well, she may not plan on sleeping with him, but you don't know how smooth Quagmire is, Lois. He's like a magician. Peter, trust me. I know what's going on in her head. It's just a game. I used to do the same thing to my parents. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have two brothers. Oh, they sound terrific. Hey, you want to blow this joint? Sure. Oh, wow, really? All right, go for it. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh, you, oh, you mean leave? Yeah, no, yeah, sure, no, let's go. Gosh, Meg, I sure had a swell time with you. Me too, Glenn. Oh, God, Peter! You scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I think you know. Did you have sex with my daughter? What? <laughs> Come on, Peter! Did you have sex with my daughter? Peter, trust me, it's not happening. And I want you to stay the hell away from her. Peter, it's me, Quagmire. This is what I do. Besides, Meg is 18 now, and, and you've got to let go. You've done your job. It's my turn now. Look, Quagmire, you're one of my best pals, and I'm asking you not to do this. I want to help you, Peter, I really do. But it's, it's like you're asking a fish not to swim. She's legal, and I'm going in. Well, we'll see about that. You're such a cutie patootie. If I'm a cutie patootie, then you're a peeny vagini. Aww. I heard a cute awe in there. Cool down! I'm 18 and he keeps treating me like a kid. Peter, I told you not to push her about this quagmire thing. If you push too hard, you're gonna push her right into his arms. Well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. This is a big game Meg is playing and the only way to win is not to play it. Oh, Meg's not here. What do you mean? She and Quagmire went up to his cabin for the weekend. What? Quagmire has a name for that cabin. He calls it his sex cabin. No, he doesn't. He calls it the Stuff It In. Oh, my God, I can't believe you knew about this and you let her go? Hey, don't give me that crap. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. Oh, don't worry, Peter. He's not gonna sleep with her. That's you, nerd. We gotta stop them! So you admit you were wrong? Yes. You admit you were stupid? Yes, yes! Look, Peter, his car's still there. Maybe they haven't left yet. Quagmire, let me in, you son of a bitch! Oh, no! Peter, look! See you later, suckers! <laughs> Oh, good luck to them. Peter! Oh, right, right, let's go. It's so nice up here. I know, I love the way the fire makes the shadows dance around behind us. One time, my friends and I went camping, and nobody could start a campfire. And then I tried to start the campfire, and I could. That's insane. What is going on over here? Are we taking our shirts off now? Okay, follow the leader. Now get over here while the inside of your mouth is still freezing cold. There you are, you son of a bitch! You get away from my daughter, you pervert! Meg, get in the car, we're going home! I'm not going home! I'm 18 and you can't tell me what to do anymore! Meg, I'm only gonna say this once. You may be an adult, but you're still my daughter. 
and it's my job to protect you from errant wieners. So I don't care how old you are, you're gonna do what I say and get in a damn car! Yes, Daddy. You know, Mom and Dad, I'm really glad that you kept me from doing what I was gonna do. Well, that's what parents are for, Meg. No matter what age you are, we love you and we just never want to see you hurt. 